Let's go over to some national news. Trump faces legal and political challenges after calling a national emergency. This is from Democracy Now! Donald Trump is facing mounting legal and political challenges after he declared a national emergency Friday in an attempt to circumvent Congress and build a wall on the U.S.-Mexico border. So here's what Trump said on Friday. The primary fight was on the wall. Everything else, we have so much. As I said, I don't know what to do with it. We have so much money. I could think of some things you could do with money, Donald Trump. I could think, we have so much money. I don't know. I could think of some things. Infrastructure. Healthcare for everybody. Free college. Living wages. I could think of some things you could do with that money. Well, the president of the United States says, hey, we have so much money, we don't know what to do with it. He says that to the face of a country where half of its citizens can't afford a $1,000 emergency, uh, more people go bankrupt over medical bills uh, than, than any other cause. There's areas where nearly 100% of the people that live there are below the poverty line. People live in food deserts. We have actual food deserts in the richest country in the world. And here's a president that says, we have more money than we know what to do with. Still think there's not a big systemic problem? All right, so anyway, that's, that's enough of his dumb quote. In addition to the nearly $1.4 billion of border barrier funding contained in the newly passed spending bill, Trump plans to divert federal funds from the military and treasury department budgets, ballooning the overall cost for the border wall to $8 billion, far more than the $5.7 billion he previously argued for. Trump also said he expects to be sued over the move, uh, but he think he'll prevail, citing his Muslim travel ban as a precedent for such a legal path. California, along with the other states, including Minnesota, Oregon, New Mexico, and Hawaii, is planning legal action. House Democrats say they will pass a resolution disapproving the declaration, while the White House over the weekend indicated that Trump will veto any congressional efforts to block his plan. So ACLU and Public Citizen uh, also against this. So we're just playing the waiting game at this point. He declared a national emergency when there was absolutely no reason to do so. By his own admission, if you watch Trump's speech, he's like, yeah, this is a national emergency. And then later he goes, yeah, I didn't have to do this. This is, I just wanted to. That's, do you imagine, hey, call a night. Hey, what's your emergency? Not really an emergency. I just, uh, I just got this thing I want to run by you. Uh, I'd be like, uh, get off the phone. That's not what this is for. What's your emergency? Well, we got to hurry up and wait to do something about this, but I'd rather do it now. That's my emergency. That's not an emergency. It's not? No, it's not. You're an idiot. Check out that speech. He, by his own admission, he's like, I didn't have to do this. So we'll see what happens here. You know, I mean, th this has been unfolding. But there was no national emergency. It was, it was all bullshit. And the leader of the th free world, quote-unquote, tells a nation full of people where they're, most of them are struggling that they have more money than they know what to do with. Meanwhile, we're the only industrialized nation in the world that doesn't have a universal health care system. We're, the only, uh, we're one of the countries that does not have affordable higher education. Many other countries do. Uh, we're one of the countries that, oh, doesn't have transportation solutions. We were just told in California, fifth largest GDP in the world, by the way, we can't figure out a high-speed rail from San Francisco to Los Angeles. We can't figure that out, apparently. We can't have that in California, fifth largest economy in the world. We can't have that, apparently. They have it in China, they have it in Japan, they have it in Europe. We can't have it here, apparently. We can't have any extensive transportation solutions. We got more money than we know what to do with, but we can't do any of that. We can't do any of that. Why? Because this is a plutocracy. It's not a democracy at all. That's why. Get your news on with Ron, don't you want to know what's going on? We're getting our news on today. Get your news on with Ron, don't you want to know what's going on? We're getting our news on today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can tweet me an article at Ron Placone. We'll go through it together and make it our own. Get your